Let me ask you this. Uh, at, the, at the end of all of this, uh, can the jury come back and convict on lesser charges? Uh, where yeah. it's not going to have to be second-degree murder. It can be involuntary manslaughter, vehicular, something, something. Is that yes. going to be an option for them? It is. Uh, the, the Commonwealth added uh, lesser includeds like a, like a week before trial. Okay. So, which was a wise move. Mm -hmm. I, I, they had to look at this case objectively and be like, you know, getting that intent element for the second degree murder is tough. Mm -hmm. You know I mean? Like we're basically, it sounds like relying on two things. One, the voicemails. And if we can prove that she slammed it in reverse, uh, you know, in order to strike him, that the act itself is the intent. Yeah. You know, she would have to think that he was, you know, going to die from that, you know, but like, I don't know if they can prove either of those things. Yeah. I don't, I like, I, I don't know what, what they're going to have as far as data from the vehicle mm -hmm. to newer model Lexus. You would assume that, and they, and they got control of it very quickly, you know, like, but again, are we going to have a problem with this investigation? Yeah, you know, did they did they get all the data that they should have from that vehicle? I mean, certainly a newer newer model Lexus that's of the high end variety is going to have all the bells and whistles like my Audi has. Yeah, like 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 mine. My thing has like if I'm within three feet of an object, it slams on the brakes. Mm -hmm. It just, it's like so violently that I think that I've hit something. Sure, sure. It's, like, it's not easing it into it. It's like a violent smashing mm -hmm. of the brakes, and it startles me every time. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. You know, so, and it's also going to have sensors that mm -hmm. are going to detect if it made contact. Like, they better have that evidence. Yeah. Like, if you don't have that evidence, how, like, like I, I just, like, yeah. I'll, I'll if that doesn't with... exist, why would they go with, with murder on this because you, you you you'd think they there there's a reason they're going with murder and, and not something lesser like they must have something or just it seems incredibly irresponsible to go down that road like this right it does you know and just not in the best interest of the commonwealth no oh no, like like you're not in the business of losing cases mm -hmm. so i mean there's got to be something there has to yeah. be something unless they're just soul sold on their theory that that you know that their story's so good, yeah. That Karen was furious. That you know the relationship was on the rocks, and you know, like, I don't know. I'm just not buying it, dude. A lot of eyewitness testimony that we saw. Let's go back to Brian Albert uh, talking about uh, the cell phone. This is uh, talking about uh, both him and Brian Higgins. They did uh, upgrade their phones uh, around the time that they were told not to. And we'll talk about it on the uh, other end. Did you and Brian Higgins agree with each other that you're both going to get rid of your phones? Objection. I'll allow that. No. You told, you testified at the other hearing in June of 2022, quote, I don't recall saying that I was going to get rid of my personal phone to Brian Higgins. I may have said that. You know, there's personal stuff on my personal phone, but I don't recall saying that to him, but I don't know. We had multiple conversations about things, end quote. You remember testifying to that? Yes. So you're not ruling out the fact that you may have told Brian Higgins that you intended to get rid of your phone, correct? No. You're not ruling out the fact that Brian Higgins may have told you that he intended to get, get rid of his phone? No, I don't remember him saying that to me. You're aware that Brian Higgins has also gotten rid of his phone, correct? I am not aware of that until after the time you're talking about. So, without qualifying your answer, answer my question. As you sit here, you're aware that Brian Higgins has also gotten rid of his phone. I know at some point, Brian Higgins... Yes or no, Mr. Albert? Did he... Objection, Your Honor. Can you answer that yes or no, sir? Yes. I don't feel like uh, the defense is coming across very likable to the jury uh, on on anything they're approaching. They're great attorneys. They are. But in this setting with these people and these witnesses, I, I, I mean, even if they had something more solid, it just doesn't feel likable. It feels like badgering. You're really pushing people and trying to mince words and take things out of context very blatantly.
Um, it, I want to talk about that, but I also want to talk about that testimony on that phone because there was another piece to that where uh, he did say he upgraded it, but he did it before uh, he was told not to get rid of the phone. Thoughts on all that? Right before. Right like before. They, like they knew, like he knew, he knew the motion was, and it was out there. Like okay. He knew that the hearing was coming, so that's not a great excuse. It's it's bad form. Mm -hmm. It looks, it just looks shady. It does. Whether it could be completely innocent. Yeah. I upgrade my phone all the time. Exactly. You know, like, so they're, they're that in and of itself is not a big deal. Um, they always do wipe your phone. Mm -hmm. Like that's not a big deal. And you know, I typically want to keep my contacts and my photos. So I save it to the cloud. Yeah. And that gets downloaded. I mean, obviously only things that you're going to save at the cloud are going to be uh, available on your new device. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, anything else that's on there that you have no interest in saving is going to be wiped clean. And, you know, I, I agree with you, especially,